Hi that is your penultimate day, I don't know, have I said that right, P penultimate day of Write Your Memoir in 30 Days with me, Maria Franklin. Thank you for being here, for sharing your writing energy and your attention and uh, showing up every day in front of these videos. It's wonderful to have you here. It's an absolute honour to be part of your writing journey. So day 29, uh, where we're continuing to think about living as a writer as well as going forward with that first draft do drop into the comments let me know how you're getting on how far you've got how much you've still got left to do uh, how are you feeling about your work in progress I do love to hear from from you it's the best part of my day to get messages and comments from other writers so do keep them coming right okay so um, I'm going to bring together in today's video some of what we've been thinking about over the last few days um, and I'd like you to think about choosing one of these aspects and taking it forward. Um, so you've acquired so many uh, new skills over the course of this, this month, over the course of this mini writing course uh, and uh, hopefully a regular writing discipline as, as well, uh, a momentum that you, you're going to carry on even beyond this course and um, hopefully you've been doing some writing every single day and it's become ingrained in your routine. They say it takes 21 days to form a new habit and I definitely think that's true. So at this stage now on your um, second to last day of the course it's probably a good time to consider where you go from here so I'm going to uh, offer a few suggestions which are drawn together as I say through the last few days of the course. So firstly you could subscribe to a writing magazine to keep yourself informed about opportunities and events and they're also an excellent source of continued learning um, so I really recommend uh, writing magazine which is it's got a pull out inside called Writer's News um, and offers details of all the competitions and everything. It's a really good resource for writers. Uh, secondly, you could consider open mic and spoken word events. Now at the time of recording, it's November 2020. The UK is in lockdown. So a lot of these have gone online, um, which is just as nerve wracking as it is getting up in front of a live audience, to be quite honest. But a real good chance for you to gain confidence reading your writing to an audience. So maybe have a go at an online one for now. Um, but certainly as soon as we're back up and running again, see what's in your local area and get yourself out there it's really really empowering um, developing your online author platform I don't expect you to do all of this at once by the way choose one thing you're going to focus on and take it forward uh, developing your online author platform so um, giving yourself plenty of time like I said yesterday a couple of days probably uh, to develop at least one social media platform I would recommend Facebook but obviously that's a very personal choice you might have one that you're already quite active on and also set yourself up a basic website um, and I would recommend including uh, a blog um, just to showcase your writing ability and just to bring some prospective readers in uh, before you're ready to, to launch your memoir. Um, attending further courses, um, you've, you've obviously shown you've got staying power, you're on day 29 of this mini course. Um, so I have more courses on here as I've mentioned before, I've already got a uh, writer novella in 30 days write a collection of poetry in 30 days there's some other uh, shorter 12 day courses on here and by signing up to my keep in touch list um, at mariafranklin.co.uk or there's a link here on this youtube channel um, there's, there's as part of my welcome sequence to join in that list there are there is a free uh, mini course that comes through on there as well so uh, keep learning writers never ever stop learning um, so I, you could look out for workshops at literature festivals everything's online at the moment um, writing days. You might want to even aim higher ultimately and consider an open university course in creative writing or a BA or an MA even or some other accredited uh, course. Um, I offer some courses on my website, you know, check those out if you're interested. Um, Attendance at literature festivals, as I've mentioned before, so this is your next item. They tend to be widely held in March and October. 
um, but they, they are packed with workshops and inspirational speakers. Hopefully we'll be back up and running by March 2021 and uh, there'll be some go some stuff going on there. Um, they usually offer a, a competition in the run up to them and, uh, and really good networking opportunities with, with other authors. Um, you could start thinking about making submissions, so perhaps making a promise to yourself that you'll submit some of your writing either to a magazine or a newspaper or a competition on a regular basis, perhaps once each month. Um, as I've mentioned before, this will give you an edge when you're submitting your memoir. It will build up that all-important writing CV. It'll get you practised in working towards deadlines as well, so it's, it's really a win-win situation. And the prizes are often quite good too. Um, you could look into manuscript appraisal. I've mentioned this before. Uh, you need to get your work to the best place imaginable before you submit it to uh, to a publisher or an agent. So you could think about having your memoir manuscript professionally uh, critiqued. Um, you'll get more value out of this if you have got it to the best place you can get it to um, first. You don't want feedback on things that you can put right yourself. You want to be having fresh eyes on it when you've done everything you can with it um, and and also you don't want to be people to be reading your work before it's ready to be read get it to the best place imaginable and that way you're um you're more likely to get positive feedback as well because if somebody if you get negative feedback on a very early draft of your work it's it's not going to be empowering for you it's it's not going to put you in a good place so get as far as you can with it yourself first I personally don't get anybody to look at my work until fourth draft stage and then it's usually my husband is my first reader um, he's quite honest with me but it's very nerve-wracking getting eyes on your work so be prepared for that. Um, a writing buddy can be really brilliant so uh, another writer who's writing in the same um, memoir just like you for swapping work or um, perhaps uh, being a part of a writing circle where you look at each other's work but again I wouldn't I wouldn't share anything until you've got it to the best place you can first. Um, writing groups are great and writing buddies um, as, as we've discussed before writing really can be a lonely and solitary activity although personally speaking I'm never lonely because I've got all my characters to keep me company um, but joining an established writing group can be a great way of uh, staying connected to other writers uh, offering the opportunity to provide feedback to one another. So if there isn't one where you are, then consider starting one up of your own. So many people are writing nowadays. I'm sure you'll have no shortage of takers. So that's it. A few ways forward from this point where you're at. Just choose one of them for now or maybe two, but don't go overwhelming yourself by trying to do everything at once because you have to keep going forwards with that first draft of your memoir as well but you're doing great so carry on and I'll see you tomorrow for our last day bye for now